So welcome, you guys. I'm super excited to do this call um, to kind of go over the pack training with you, but also share with you some new exciting things that we have in the works. And so first, before we get started, if this is your first Zoom call, welcome. Um, you can kind of play around on here for just a second. There is a mute and unmute button. So feel free to um, unmute yourself if you have questions. Like, go ahead, interrupt me. Just be like, wait, 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 what did you say? Or um, can you repeat that? Or can you explain it a little bit more? So you can go ahead and unmute yourself. There is an option where you can stop your video if you're on your phone and you swipe it to the left, then it'll stop your video. Um, if you're on a computer, there's a little stop video. Or even if you're on your phone, it's a stop video. So practice with that. Um, I want to see your faces though, even if you're eating, you're in bed, you're sitting wherever, like I want to see you guys' faces because that's how I can get to know you a little bit better. Hey Gabby, <laughs> I know your face. So welcome you guys. Um, and then there's a chat option. So if you can find that, if you're on your phone, you click participants, then you click chat. If you're on the computer, it just says chat. Um, but I want you guys to go ahead and write where you're from or like where you're currently living and who signed you up because I know there's a lot of new faces so where you are and who signed you up and then that way too um, you're able to connect with people that are in your area maybe you didn't even know that there's somebody in your area that lives close by that you guys can do rap parties together or just get together and do trainings and stuff And I love that it is like all the way from East Coast to West Coast. It's so cool. Oh, Monique, you got on. Welcome. There's quite a few people um, in Pueblo and uh, Mandy. I don't know if Mandy's. No, not Mandy. Um, somebody just signed today that lives in Colorado Springs. I can't remember who it is. And that's pretty close to Pueblo. Ashley. Ashley signed that lives in Colorado Springs. So there's quite a few people that live in Pueblo, Kelly Joe, so we can get them connected. All right. Okay, Tabitha can't hear anything. Where is Tabitha? I cannot find her on my screen. Um, Will someone write in the chat, maybe Kelly, Joe, if you're available, or Bailey, how to um, be able to hear, hear it better connecting the audio, if you guys know. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with some announcements. So I need you guys all to have a pen and paper to write this down because you will forget, and then you'll ask me, and I won't remember to tell you, okay? So you've got to write this down while I've got the information right here to give it to you. We have some really exciting stuff going on right now, okay? I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you and pull up. Our pack challenge for the month, you guys. This is our goal by the end of the month to have a dozen diamonds. And so last month, um, Derek went double, Bailey went diamond, Kelly Joe's diamond, and Chelsea went diamond. So snagged four of those spots. And as a team, it is our goal to fill eight more spots. So for those of you who don't know what a diamond is, diamond is the fourth rank in our company. So it goes executive, ruby, emerald, diamond. So it's the fourth rank in our company. We call it the license to print money. And on average, a diamond earns about $2,000 a month. Anybody who goes diamond by the end of this month gets a $10,000 bonus. Okay, now raise your hand if you would like to have a $10,000 bonus right? And it, guess what, you guys, if there's more than eight, I'll put some more diamonds on there. All right. This is not a cap, but as a team, this is our goal to get eight brand new diamonds popping up. And, um, we're going to go over a little bit of charting with you. So that way, you know what it takes to go diamond, but I'll tell you the fastest diamond in our company went diamond in five days, five days. And when she went diamond in five days, it was actually with 25 distributors in order to go diamond. And now you only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 diamonds or 15 people in your downline. Um, and the one who went diamond in five days, you needed 25. 
So there's no reason why any person who is on this call can't go diamond in the next 19 days and earn this $10,000 bonus. Okay, so this is our team goal. I'm super excited about it. Um, I've been talking to your upline leaders and we've been just kind of brainstorming as far as what we can do to help you. And we have a lot of systems in place, which is why I wanted to go and do this call with you guys so that we could show you the different systems that we have, okay? So this is number one, dozen diamonds, write it big on your page, be loud and proud about it. Hashtag dozen diamonds, like that's gonna be our hashtag for the rest of the month, dozen diamonds. Um, and then you can just write run with the pack, hashtag run with the pack, dozen diamonds. So whenever you're posting out the business, we're trying to grow your team, like this is, this is our focus this month, getting a dozen people diamond on our team, okay? Um, we are gonna do a little competition. It's called Bring the Boom. So as soon as this call ends, I'm gonna make a post and I'm gonna tag all of your Ruby and above leaders. And you guys that I'm tagging need to make sure that you approve it onto your timeline so that way it shows up in your tag photos. And we're gonna do this for the rest of the year. Whenever you sign a customer that has 50 BV, okay, so that's at least two products on their order. So you're gonna get them to say yes to one and you're gonna upsell them for the second one. Okay, so you're gonna have at least a 50 BV order. You're gonna drop a flame in the comments of this post and you're just gonna write boom, one. And then the next person that signs a loyal customer that's above 50 BV, they're gonna drop a flame because we're gonna bring the heat this month, you guys. They're gonna drop a flame and they're gonna say boom, two. And we're gonna go boom, three, boom, four, boom, five, all the way up to 25. When we get to 25, I'm gonna do a drawing for the people that have their name in that, in that list. And however many times you have your name in the list is how many times your name goes in the drawing for a $25 Visa gift card that I'll mail out. And I already mailed out the one from last month. And so I'm super excited to see how many I get to mail out for this month. So um, this is only for loyal customers um, that have 50, brand new loyal customers that have 50 BB. So we're upselling. We're really going to work on that. Um, did I say year? I meant to say month. See you guys, no brain here. <laughs> so hold, hold me to what you know I'm supposed to be saying. So thank you. Um, thank you, Chelsea, for clarifying. Thank you, Kelly Joe, for letting me know. Okay, so when does this start? It starts tonight. All right, as soon as the call's done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload it. So starting from, let's say, nine o'clock, Mountain Standard Time, till the end of the month. Every time you get a new customer with 50 BV, you're just gonna write a, drop a flame and say boom, and we're gonna count up to 25. All right, I'm super excited about this, and most of the time we do it in a team page where it's private. I'm excited to do it publicly and to show people that we're bringing the heat, that we're bringing the boom, that we're signing customers, and that we're growing and we're working toward this dozen diamonds this month, and we'll get a dozen more next month. Like It's just a super exciting time. So this is our second challenge. Okay, so any questions so far? Dozen diamonds, bring the boom. I've got a couple more exciting announcements. This next one I'm, I'm really geeked out about. Okay, so here it is. Dun, 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 dun. Pack retreat. We, are, we did this last year and it was a lot of fun. And we did it just at my house, but we made it super simple so that everybody could come. We went and did a challenge course. We went to the gorge and we went cliff jumping. We went out to eat. Um, we just played games and chatted. We did some business building training and we also did just some relationship building. And it was a really a lot of fun. So we decided we we're gonna do this again. It's June 7th through the 9th in Wyoming. Um, you'll come in Friday at about five o'clock and then you'll leave on Sunday about 11 a.m. after breakfast. All you have to do is get here. Once you get here, the rest of your weekend is all covered. And um, I'm gonna go over the requirements in order to earn this. And so um, in order to earn, and anybody can do this, whether you've signed this month or maybe you're going to sign people next month or the next month, anybody can earn this up until June. All right. So a couple requirements. Number one, you must have four customers underneath yourself. Four qualified customers underneath yourself. Now, if you already have that because you joined a long time ago, perfect. Get four customers underneath somebody else on your team and help them earn a spot. You don't need to keep four brand new ones. You just need four customers underneath yourself. So when I check the tree viewer and it says, how many qualified active customers do you have? I see the number four or more. Okay, you must have four customers underneath yourself. They don't have to be ordering. 
They just have to be have active accounts, okay? The second thing is it is so important that we are ordering products from ourselves every single month. And step one in steps to success is run an 80 BV auto shipment. That is step one. That gets you commission qualified, okay? So your second qualification in order to earn this spot to this retreat is that you must have an 80 BV order. It does not have to be an auto shipment. If you wanna do a one-time order and move the volume to someone in your organization, you're more than welcome to do that. But at least 80 BV in products that you are purchasing for yourself for the month. Okay, so first four customers, second an 80 BV order, and then number three is that you need to read the book that is our book club of book club book of the month. Okay, so you're going to read at least one personal development book in the month um, that we are deciding to read as a team. And this month it is GoPro. GoPro, and it's by Eric Worre. You can go to the library and rent it. You can download it on Audible. Um, you can buy it off of Amazon, however you want. But um, will you guys go ahead. If you, are, if you have read it, I read, I finished it. I read it Sunday and Monday. I finished it um, this morning, actually. Um, it was only three, and, three hours and 20 minutes, I think, on Audible. And I was going to write that right there in the comments, you guys. If you have read it, I want you to tell me in the chat. So. Sarah and McKendra have finished it. Bailey is a little over halfway done. A couple chapters left. Chelsea's done. So you guys that have read it, can you just kind of maybe share a couple takeaways? Because um, we talked about it last Tuesday. And so I just want a couple takeaways or aha moments that you had. Let's take just a few minutes. Can is I ask a clarifying question real quick? Yes. Um, for the 80 BV auto shipment in the book of the month club, does that just have to be like sometime between now and June or what month does that have to be in? Okay, that is a good question. Um, and I will answer that as soon as we do takeaways from GoPro. Perfect. Thank you. I was gonna talk about that. Who's got some takeaways? Real quick, okay. one or two. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, so I was, I decided today to listen to it all at once and finish it today because it's only like three hours. Um, I had listened to it once before and tried to do it in a couple minutes here, a couple minutes there, things like that, and didn't really remember a lot of the information. So I strongly recommend listening to it all at once if you have that much amount of time or whatever. But the biggest thing that I took away today was just the difference in the way you're thinking about everything. Um, because I often steer the conversation in a certain way and he was talking about um, when someone you know says oh is that a is that a pyramid scheme or is that an MLM or is that a whatever to say oh it sounds like you have a story tell me the story you have about that and to like figure out what happened and their experience and how you know you can help that and maybe it wasn't the right time for them and that stood out to me the most because I kind of give up sometimes when people are like, oh, is that what you do all day, you know, kind of thing. I'm like, oh, you're not interested. <laughs> yeah. So this book is teaching you how to be a network marketing professional. And it's so interesting, you guys, and, and we're going to get into this a little bit later on the call. You guys paid, some of you, $99 to start this business. Some of you guys joined when it was $59. But a lot of you guys joined when it was $20 to start your own business, okay? And this is a big deal to start your own business. Now, raise your hand if you've ever been into a clothing store before, ever, in your whole entire life. Okay, hopefully, everyone. Or raise your hand if you've ever been to a fast food place. Okay, um, how about a bookstore? Okay, like we go to stores all the time. These are people owning their own business, right? So when people go walk into that store and they walk out with nothing, is the manager getting all discouraged and saying, I'm quitting. They came in my store and they didn't buy anything. I'm done. Nobody wants my stuff. I quit. Right? So then why do we do that? Why do we expect that every single person that comes into our store is going to buy from us? Every single person that we ask is going to say yes right away. I can tell you, you guys, um, every time I go into Rue 21, they always try and sell me their perfume all of the time, and I always say no, 
but now I'm out. And I'm actually gonna go to Rue 21 tomorrow just to get that perfume that's sitting on the, count, on the counter. Do you know how many times I've gone to that store and not got perfume? I don't know how, 31 years, right? And now I'm ready to order. And if Rue 21 closes their doors, then what am I gonna do? Because I wanted it. You know, I'm gonna have to go buy it from somebody else. So we need to treat this business like a business. And this book, GoPro, is going to teach you how to become a network marketing professional. This is the most incredible opportunity that you can ever have working for a network marketing company because you're in charge of your schedule, you're in charge of how much money you wanna make, and you don't even have to carry all the products. You don't have to have a whole surplus of inventory that you have to buy and sit on and then try and sell it. Like we get to ship it directly to the customers and the customers pay the company. Like this is the, the big time best business that you could ever own, okay? So GoPro is going to be the book of the month if you, and it has to be read this month. It can't be, oh, I read it a few months ago, I read it, like you have to read it this month to have it count, okay? So let me go back to this picture so I can get my mom frame right. In order to be on the list for the pack retreat, this month you must have your four customers, you must run or purchase 80 BVM products, and you must read GoPro, okay? You're gonna message me and you're gonna tell me that you have it done. So I wanna know in the chat real quick. Tell me whether you have zero out of three, one out of three, two out of three, or three out of three things, three out of three things like eligible for this pack retreat, all right? Um, so that, let's see, it's March right now. So then in April, you have to requalify. So in April, there's gonna be a new book for you to read. You're gonna purchase your ADBV and products. And you don't need to have your four customers again, but what I hope is that you'll sign four customers and you'll help somebody on your team be able to make it to this. Um, Mandy, are you on here? If you are, quickly unmute yourself. I am. Um, so Mandy came last year and we were talking today and she said the one thing that she wished is that her team was there with her. So do you wanna just kind of talk, uh, I know I'm putting you on the spot here, but do you wanna just kind of talk about the value in, you know, being a part of what's being put on, but also helping your team to be able to get there too. So last year when we did the retreat, I actually had just joined. I qualified that last month of qualification and it was like three weeks after I joined. And I debated on whether I was actually gonna go or not. And so I only stayed one night instead of two because it was the only weekend that I didn't have my kids. And so I was really excited once I got there to see all of the different fun things. Like I didn't know anybody on my team. And like, at that point I was still really super nervous around people. Like you guys probably don't believe this, but I have social anxiety around new people who would have thought, right. But I was scared to go, but I loved Tamika. And so I got to actually physically meet Chelsea, who I talked to on Marco and like, we're the best of friends. I got to connect with Amber um, not Amber Parker, Amber Johnson, and a couple of other girls. And we just went out and had fun. And I got to see like a whole different world that I would have missed out on. And so this year, like I want my entire team there so that they can build those relationships because building relationships with sidelines is amazing. First of all, like it's a friend who's in your business or not in your business, but you it understands it. And so like, that was super big for me because I still talk to all of those girls who were there. And even though I only stayed like one night out of the two, we had so much fun and I learned so much because every person is so different. And I did the um, obstacle course, which I was not happy to do. I just want you to know, I was not excited about it, but it just, I don't know, it was so different. And I was the only one from my team there because I had just started. I had five team members, but one was my husband, one was my mom, one lived in Montana and it was only like a week's notice for her. So it was just me. And to think that if I could have my whole team in one place and be able to build those relationships with them, with other team members and to grow together, like that is just huge. And so if you're on this call and you're on my team, you better get your butt there. <laughs> okay. And, and I, and I kind of do things spur of the moment and this is not spur of the moment. This is giving you guys three and a half months to figure it out and make it a priority because you know, even if you fly in, we can come pick you up from Salt Lake. I mean, we will make it happen and it'll just be a lot of fun. Okay, so does everyone understand the qualifications? So this month, you purchase ADBV, you get your four customers, you read GoPro, okay? I'm gonna put your name on a list and it's gonna be a document in the pack document, it's gonna be a page. 
Okay, and then in April, you're gonna message me and tell me that you read the book, um, that your four customers are still eligible, and that you purchased your ADBB. And then the same thing in May. So we're doing it three months to earn your spot. And then anybody who you sign on is welcome to earn a spot too. Obviously they don't have to do it for all three months, but they'll do it for month April and May. And then if you sign anyone in May, then they'll just do it for month May. But um, I think it's really important that we're treating our business like a business. And we need to be gathering customers, we need to be ordering products, and we need to be growing our minds. And so when you choose to do those three things, I am going to spoil you rotten when you come to my house and we're gonna have so much fun. Sound good? Okay, I'm excited. Last thing, I know I'm giving you a lot and we haven't even got to, got to the training part, but um, last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is our leadership couples retreat. And I think that this is coming at the perfect time because um, in order to qualify for the leaders couples retreat, it's at the end of June. So June 30th, anyone who is paid as diamond or above is going to come with their husband. We're gonna to go to Salt Lake. I'm gonna rent uh, Airbnb a house and we're going to go to Google Leadership Summit Training. And um, well, all you have to do is get there and the rest is going to be covered for you. And so like I said, our goal this month is a dozen diamonds to come up with those, those next eight. And if we get more than a dozen, I'm welcoming them all. It's great and wonderful to have as many as we can. And then, you know, next month. So you're going to have four months to go diamond to be able to earn this. And I think that it's coming at the perfect time because we'll have our amazing pack retreat at the very beginning of June. And then we'll have our leadership um, winners at the end of June. So, um, and I guess I should say winners, but earners at the end of June. So I know I've kind of already talked about this a little bit, but I just kind of want to put that plug in there because um, the purpose of doing this business is going to be different for every person. But when it comes down to it, you joined a business because you wanted to make money and you wanted to change your life. And so I don't want to keep playing small. Who has ever done another business before? Raise your hand if you've ever done another network marketing company before. Most of the time, you either lose money or you only make a little bit, right? Shake your head if I'm right. Let's change it. Let's stop playing small. Let's stop being lazy. Let's start working it like a business and let's start making good money. Let's start helping a lot of people. Let's start treating it like a business and being a professional. Okay. And so that's why I wanted to do this call because there are a lot of you guys who are in different phases in your business, different phases in your life. Some of you guys have experience, some of you guys don't, but when it comes down to it, you guys, it works is so simple. I'm not going to say it's easy because I'll tell you today was very hard. Today was a hard day for me. Okay. Um, so I'm not going to say that it's easy, but I'm going to tell you that it's simple because I got my work done today even though I was nonstop all day long. Okay, I got my work done because it's simple. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna share my screen again. I'm gonna take you guys through the pack training. Are all of you guys on the pack training on Facebook? If you are not, write add me with big explanation marks because you all need to be a part of this. Um, okay, share screen again. Let's go to Facebook. All right, here is the pack training. It is a secret group on Facebook. The only people who are invited to this group are the ones who are part of the pack. Not the ones who are thinking about joining the pack, not the ones who are those sideline sisters that don't have the help that they need. The only people that are invited to this group is being part of the pack. Now, you guys, maybe you, like I said, you've done another business before. We have so much help and support being part of this team in particular with it works because we have a lot of leaders who are willing to share their information and i really hope that you'll take advantage of it we've got the pack training we've got the pack document which we're going to go over both of those things real quick so when you hop on to the pack training if you just scroll through the through, scroll through the discussion the only thing that's going to pop up here are the things that people have commented on and it's not in order okay so don't scroll through the discussion go over here and click on units when you click on units, it's gonna pull up the three units that we have, okay? The first one's called starter training, the second one is six list training, and then the third one is frequently asked questions. So on the starter training, there's five posts. The first one says, welcome to our pack, and you can tag your, two, your new team members here. So once they accept the invite, you can tag them here and be like, hey, here's the first slide, you're gonna start here. 
Um, and then there's also a video to kind of explain what this group is all about. So if you haven't had a chance to go through and watch that video, watch it. Okay, it's, it's good for you. And every time I sign a distributor, I go back through and I do the pack training all over again because I'm taking them through it. Okay, the number two is first things, take this quiz and gather your materials. This is our color personality quiz. I don't know if anyone's ever done this before, but knowing your color personality is really interesting because it kind of teaches me which way you learn best or how to handle your type of personality. So I'm a red personality. And so if you want me to thrive, give me a competition. Give me something that I can win, and I will win because I'm determined, I'm strong-willed, I'm demanding, I'm competitive, I'm purposeful. You know, on a bad day, I might be a little bit more aggressive. So if, like, you know, you reach out to me on one of my bad days, I might be a little bit intolerant, unpatient. Is that impatient, not unpatient? Jeez, you guys, I don't know how to talk. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> but, like, I'm a red personality, okay? A blue personality is, like, a little bit more just like partier. Um, green likes information, so they just like wanna know all the information. And then a yellow personality is more like just a kind, thoughtful, caring, sensitive person. And so when you know people's color personalities, then you can drive better with them or help them get the information the way that they need it. So I really like that. Um, and then we've got this Google Drive, um, Google Doc link here, and this is for your binder. So you've got your Ruby chart, your Emerald chart, you have a place that you can put your enroller and their phone number, co-sponsor, your Ruby leader, your Diamond leader, you have your apps that you need to download, place for you to write all your information, you've got your back office, your pay portal, your website, and then down here, your first set of your steps to success. And then there's just a few other pages which for some reason are not showing up. So go ahead and you guys can download this and print it and have this in your binder so that way you have all of your materials. When I first started, the only thing I had was my, was my three ring binder. Like this was my office. Everywhere my three ring binder was, was my office. And everything I needed was right in here. So um, print out these binder papers if you haven't already. It's right here in, in unit or in lesson number two. And then we're gonna talk about branding yourself. And this is, this is something that you wanna do when you first start your business is who are you gonna bring into your store? Okay, and you don't want to bring people that just want it works because people don't know that they want it works right away, right? Um, so who are you bringing into your store? So when I made this video about branding and then said comment three to five things that you want to represent and stand for, I'm not telling you to write, oh, that you're positive, that you're hardworking, you're optimistic, you're um, like those kinds of characteristics because people are going to know those things based on what you do. And so when I'm talking about three to five things that you want to represent and stand for, for me, I play roller derby. So I have actually signed quite a few customers that play roller derby because I'm posting stuff about that and I'm bringing them into my space. Um, I'm a mom of two. So I've signed moms. Um, I am a wife. I'm a hunter. I've met people through doing hunting competitions. I've signed those people. Um, I do CrossFit. So I work out. I sign those people. And so who am I bringing into my store? What am I putting on my shelves? What are in the aisles of my store? And what's on the aisles of my store is healthy recipes, workouts, um, mom tips, right? And then I've got my products. And so those are the people that are coming in and whether or not they buy, those are the ones that I'm specifically targeting because that's what I want to represent and stand for. So watch this video and then go ahead and comment in the, in the chat. There's already 30 of you that have, so great job. And if you want to change it, change it. I mean, mine changes just depending on the season. You know, hunting season is in the fall, so I, I gear more towards that in the fall. Um, but I think that the most important thing in doing this business is knowing that no one is you and that is your superpower. Like being true to yourself is what is gonna help you be successful in this business and being willing to grow yourself, okay? And, and knowing that the person that you are today isn't the person that you're gonna to be tomorrow, isn't the person that you're gonna be a year from now, because you're gonna grow yourself and become your best self and really um, expand on your qualities and your um, strengths. Then number four is where we kind of get into the meat of it. And like I said, today was a hard day for me, but I got my stuff done. And so what am I talking about when I say I got my stuff done? I'm talking about I completed my daily six list. Okay. And so every single day, whether you feel like it or not, and believe it or not, you guys, I've been in this business for over four years and there have been 
a lot of days I have not felt like doing anything, but I did it anyway. And that's the only reason why I am where I am today. Because what happens if you decide not to open your store? What happens if you decide not to follow up? What happens if you decide to just quit for a little while and get back into it? You lose all trust with your market. They don't believe that you're really invested. And I don't know about you, but for me, I don't wanna go and get committed to something that doesn't look like it's gonna last. I don't wanna go and sign up to be a customer with someone when I'm not sure if they're really in it. So if you really wanna be successful in this business, you gotta have both feet in, you gotta embrace that you're a business owner, and you gotta work whether you feel like it or not. How many of you guys have another job? Or do I have another job? Do you, do you go to that job when you're sick sometimes? Like when you don't feel the best? When you didn't sleep well at night? Right, you have to. Your baby was up all night crying, you didn't get any sleep, right? You still have to show up to work the next day. This business should not be any different. And so your six daily um, non-negotiables are number one, start your morning off right. If you get your mindset right first thing in the morning, you are setting yourself up for success. If the first thing you do is grab your phone and you see negative Nancy on your Facebook, it's gonna put you in a bad mood. And so make sure that you're in control of what you do when you first start out your day. And um, a lot of us do a prayer journal. If you do a prayer journal, write yes in the chat, if you do a prayer journal. And if you know what it's called, or if it's by a certain person, will you write down the um, uh, name of it? You guys, starting your morning out with a prayer journal, and you don't even have to be religious to do this, but just starting your morning out with gratitude and then growing your mind either emotionally um, or business-wise is going to change your business. That's number one. And I'll tell you, when I started doing that is when my paycheck went up. It wasn't that I was messaging more. It wasn't that I was posting better. It was literally that I had my mind right. So can you, like, can you guys look at me for a second? Some of you guys are watching TV, and I, I, don't, I don't know why you're watching TV when I'm trying to help you make a lot of money here, all right? Can you all look at me for a minute? Do you want to be successful in this business? You will start with your morning getting your mind right. I'm telling you, you guys, if I could, if you did nothing more, get your mind right in the morning, number one, okay? Number two, sharing on social media. You gotta open your story. You gotta let people know what's in it. And you can't just let them know it works, it works, it works, it works, it works, because then they're gonna unfollow you and they're gonna say you're super salesy, I'm out of here. But, you know, what are you eating for breakfast? What are you doing that day? What are you doing for your other job? What are things that you like, books that you're reading, songs that you're listening to, like anything that represents you, which is why we came up with the branding yourself. So that way you can share you on social media. Okay, message new and follow up. We'll talk about that in a minute. Expanding your network, getting your own results. And obviously you guys are all doing number six right now, running with the pack. You're on the calls that are available and you're learning and growing. So if anything else, you guys for sure got that one today, running with the pack. So good job on that. Um, then number five is just a first post for you to make. Now, if you've been in the business for a long time, you can still make this post, just change it around. If you've already made this post, you can make it again, just change it around. Um, it's just kind of like an outline for you. So this is units one through five, any, or lessons one through five and unit one. Any questions on this? Anyone want me to clarify anything? Who's done it? Someone unmute themselves. Tell me what you like. One person, unmute themselves. Tell me something good. Um, I was just going to say that I started doing the gratitude journal beginning of, beginning of January-ish. And I literally tripled my paycheck by the end of February. You guys, it's a huge deal. And even if you don't want to do like the prayer journal one necessarily, like say religion is hard for you right now, which I understand. There's one that's literally just a gratitude journal. You write three things that you're grateful for every single day. So even if you're not ready for that, like go on Amazon and get a gratitude journal that is three things that you are grateful for and start there. Start somewhere appreciating where you're at. That doesn't mean you can stop dreaming. That doesn't mean you can't keep pushing hard for something. That just means that you're grateful for where you are and excited for where you're going. And you don't even have to buy it on Amazon. You can literally go to the dollar store and get a notebook. 
Um, but sometimes it's just nice just to have a, a pretty journal that tells you what to do and how to do it and where to do it. And y'all, Chelsea's at the gym right now on this call. Dedication right there, right? We work this business from everywhere. So thank you for sharing. Okay, let's go on to unit number two. Unit number two, I get in depth with each one of these tasks, okay? So here we go. Number one, starting your morning off right. So wake up 30 minutes earlier than, where, than what time you normally wake up. So in the chat, you guys, what time do you wake up? Write it down. Let's see who's the earliest riser. What time do you wake up? 4 a.m. Jenna, Eek. smiley 11 p.m. <laughs> I don't know if you're serious. For Fridays and Saturdays, I am because I go to work at midnight. Yes. Okay, so I'll tell you, if I let my kids make, wake me up, it's the worst day ever. I have to wake up before my kids. Um, and I'm saying in here to set your alarm 30 minutes earlier than what you normally do. And just get your, your mind right, have your you time. I mean, Mandy's always drinking her coffee in the morning and Bailey too and reading their books and like, just, it's gonna change your whole entire life, not even your business, it's gonna change your whole life, okay? Um, and then down here, want to know what to read or listen to, suggestions in the comments. I've taken a lot of time to um, find some YouTube videos about each one of these books. And like I said, here's Air, here's GoPro by Eric War. That's our book for this month. Um, but if you guys have book recommendations, put it in here. If you need book recommendations, come and find it in here. Okay. Um, Strangest Secret is a great one to listen to every single day. I know Sarah Ives can share her story about that one. But um, if you've got good books, put them in here. If you need recommendations, grab them from here. Okay. Um, number two, share on social media. Watch this video. This is gonna teach you how to use your social media effectively, you guys. Watch it, do it. It's going to change your business, I promise. Okay, um, and then in the comments, once again, I am giving you ideas. So if you want to make a product, or let me go to the top, personal posts. Here are some ideas of personal posts that you can make. A product post, here are some ideas. And then a business post, here are some ideas. And if you have your own ideas, put them in there. Okay, this is a working document. If you've got things that I didn't put in there, make sure that you put them in there so other people can read about it and, and um, use it, okay? So um, that's gonna teach you how to post. Now on social media, you guys, especially Facebook, keep your posts between three and five hours apart so that way they get maximum exposure. Stay away from salesy words like BOGO, don't use the word it works, don't use the word comment below, or um, send me a message or anything that, that could represent something being sold. Even if you write wholesale pricing or my distributor discount, it's not going to reach as many people because Facebook is going to hide it. So you just got to kind of get creative, see what works for you. And if it's working, then keep using it. If you're not feeling like it's working, then reach out to someone or, or Google. Like I'm on YouTube all the time. Like how to use, how to be a good network marketer, how to use selling online effectively, like all of these things, you can just search for them. Okay. And then right here is another video I made as far as posting tips go um, to boost your algorithms as well. So there's lots of information on using social media effectively. Then here for messaging and following up, here is a great video by Ashley Mayfield called Mindset to Selling. So um, as I'm looking and seeing who's on here, I'm not gonna say names, but you guys, I have had people message me and say, I can't sign customers. I'm doing everything. I just can't sign distributors. And I'll tell you, because you're saying it, that's exactly why you're getting it. So number one, when you're sending messages and following up with people, have your mindset right before you send messages. Legit, you guys. I don't know if you can see this on my wall. Maybe I'll just pull it off. There's this little pink sticky note right here. You guys see what I'm pointing to? It says, my inbox is full of messages from people excited and ready to try products. People want to order from me because I know, because they know I will take care of them and help them get results. Um, people want to try our products, they just haven't been asked. You're a loyal customer and rolling star. You change lives. You are unique and creative. You are inspiring. I literally, you guys, read all that stuff to myself before I send my messages. And I'm like, yeah, here I go. Everyone I message says yes. And you know what? Some people use the N-word, but I take it as a yes, just not right now, and I'll get back to you later, okay? Um, and I wanna share this little story with you because um, 
I messaged 58 people on Saturday, 58 people I messaged. And of those 58, three responded. So that means 55 people put me on red. But do you know what that happens when people read your message and don't respond? That means they're looking at your page. That means they're watching a little bit longer. That means that maybe they were busy or their kid answered their phone and they never saw the message. It means they don't wanna tell me no because it might be a yes later on. So 55 no response messages gets me excited because there's 55 seeds that I just planted that are gonna harvest later. So woo woo for that, okay? Two, like I said, the three people messaged me back. One person said, please take me off your list. And I thought, ooh, should I just unfriend her? I said, no, I'm gonna kill her with kindness. I'm gonna just message her all about her life and not ever talk to her about the products again because she's gonna to come to me when she's ready. So I'm still her friend and I will just be her best friend that she doesn't know that she has yet. Um, one person said, no, not right now. And then one person said, yes. And they signed up as a customer, right? So number one, if I had messaged five people and I did five people every day, it would have taken me 12 days to sign one customer. If I just messaged five a day, right? Well, I messaged 58 and I signed one. So if I wanna sign another one, how quickly am I gonna get through those 58 people? And maybe the 58 don't, but maybe my next 58, I actually signed three, right? So this is a numbers game and you have got to know, and I want you guys to look at me again because I need you to hear this. You have to know that the people who are at the top of the company get no's too. And the people who are at the top of the company get put on red a lot, right? But they're at the top of the company because they chose to keep going because they didn't say, oh my gosh, nobody wants our products. I suck at this, blah, 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 because that's not true. What is true is that people want your products. They just haven't been asked. You haven't brought the value. You haven't given them the belief, right? That's what's true. You haven't learned the material that you need to learn to get through those objections. I had a girl tell me no once and I said, okay, thanks so much for getting back to me. Is there a particular reason why? And she said, actually, I've been wanting to try the hair, skin, and nails. And she signed up, right? So did I take that first no for an answer? No, because people say no, not even knowing what they're saying no to. People say no just because it's easy. You guys say no all the time, <laughs> right? So don't take it personally. Don't get discouraged, you guys. Like, you are a business owner, okay? People go into stores all the time and don't order right away. They have to keep going back and looking at it and looking at it and looking at it until they finally decide, okay, this is what I want. And that can't, that can't get us down. That's got to get us excited that when the time is right, they're going to join. And I look at some of you guys. Some of you guys sat and watched your enroller for a long time before you signed up. You kept giving them excuses. You kept giving them reasons why you couldn't do it. When in reality, you could. You just had fear. And so how quickly can you move your potential customers and your potential distributors and even your teammates, even your existing customers, how can you move them through the fear? Okay. And it's through messaging, building relationships, figuring out what the real problem is, and then moving them through that process. Okay. So make sure that you are watching these videos. They're really going to help you. And you want to know some messages to send suggestions in the comments. Okay. So there is information in the comments that you can use and I'll continue to post more in there. Um, number four is expanding your network. We never want to run out of people to talk to. And you guys, it's really hard when you hit 5,000 friends on Facebook because that's all you get, right? And I know me and Kelly Joe are both at 5,000 right now. Um, and so we actually have to go through and delete friends right now. But do you know what is so exciting about that? Every new friend that I get to add is a new potential. And I get to be in charge of who I expand my network with. So I'm looking at their page. I'm looking and seeing if it's someone I want on my team or someone I want ordering products for me. I'm looking to make sure that they're quality people that I can help change their lives. And so however many friends you guys have right now, in fact, let's, let's write it in the chat. How many friends do you have right now on your Facebook? Ooh, Sarah, 4,973. You're almost going to be welcome to the delete club. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a good place to be though. <clears throat> Oh, I miss all this chat stuff that's going on. So when I first started the business, you guys, I had 200 friends. And I had actually just done a Facebook cleanse where I just like deleted so many people. And I was like, yes, this feels so good. And then I was like, crap, I have to go and add them all back. Dang it. Um, but um, 
you guys, you should be excited and this should be a, a very important piece in, in running your business. Okay, so let's say that, that you live in Rock Springs, this little bitty town, and you've got this little shop that's open in, in the corner of, of this place that nobody goes, right? And you've got your regulars. You've got those people that just like come in. You know, I've got my, my regular 100 customers. But how am I going to find more people? I have to let more people know about, about my business, right? And so how are you going to sign more customers? How are you going to sign more distributors? How are you going to grow your business? You need to have more friends. And so if you want to grow fast, then you need to add fast, but add quality. Not just, I mean, that was my mistake in the business and that's why I'm going through and deleting people right now. I did not add quality. I just added anyone who would accept, okay? Um, add quality people, but make it a goal to expand your network big. So if you're at 600 right now, I want you 800 in a week. That's 200 new potential clients that are coming into your store, especially now that you've got a good Facebook and you've got good messaging going on and you've got a good mindset, okay? You're gonna change those 200 people's lives okay and wherever you are right now thousand by the end of the month right two thousand by the end of next month and just set these big audacious goals of adding friends and expanding your network because then you're going to be able to talk to more people okay so um in here i've given you some rules of thumb when adding new friends be intentional make sure that you're adding people that you actually want to be friends with um i don't add men hardly ever because I don't need to even go down that route. Um, and I'm looking for people in new countries. You guys, we're open in 22 countries. And we've got actually a distributor that lives in Australia. We've got a couple that live in Canada. We're about to open in Mexico. Start bringing friends in different areas that we're open in. And you know what? It's a tax write-off when you go and throw a launch party in New Zealand. Yeah, that's on my dream board. <laughs> Okay, um, number five, get your own results. And this kind of goes along with ordering your AB, ADBV and products, you guys. If we expect our customers to order from us and use products on a daily basis, we need to be doing that, okay? It is not fair to be hypocritical and say, hey, order this. Oh, I've never tried it and I don't plan on buying it because I don't have any money, okay? You are a business owner, which means that you figure it out. You all have the opportunity to earn a $100 shopping spree when you first start and get $100 worth of free products. And you all have an opportunity to get $100 fast start bonuses. You can turn around and use one of those bonuses to invest back into your business. And I will tell you, when you start getting your own pictures is when your business is going to really boom. Um, so there's a video here on the products to teach you about them. And then as you get your corporate approved pictures, go ahead and thank you, Sarah, for commenting them. I think so far it's just me and Sarah's in here. But you can go ahead and comment them here. And then any of you guys are welcome to use these pictures for posts to show people that the products work for people that are on your team, people that you actually know, okay? So, um, am I frozen? Am I good? Carry on, thumbs up if I'm good, okay. Because I can see you right there. Hey, and hey Lisa and Catherine, you guys are like on my little screen here. Okay, cool. Um, then number six is run with the pack. So we have calls every single day. Every single day there's a call for you to be on. And um, anybody feeling fired up right now or is it just me? Like I'm like ready to go right? Every time I get on a call, I'm like ready to go. And they always say, stay close to the fire. That's how you stay on fire. You got to stay close to the fire. You guys, I've been in business for over four years and I've been on fire for four years. So if you want to be successful, just stay close to me. I'm going to the top. I'm going to take anybody who wants to go with me. Like that's a fact. And the second that you start having doubts and that you're not worthy and that you don't deserve this and you can't do this, do you know what you do? You pull away. You stop talking to people. You stop showing up to calls. And are you going to be successful? Mm -mm. So when you're feeling like quitting, when you're feeling like it's not working, oh, hey, Kelly Jo, just saw you post that. <laughs> you feel like it's not working, you guys. That's when you stay closer to the fire. And I never leave the fire because I don't want to get cold. I don't want to have to try and build this momentum. I stay on the fire all of the time. Okay, Amber Parker does a call every Monday night. She does a uh, Rubies and Above call on Wednesdays. Me and Kelly Joe have our Monday, Wednesday, Friday calls. We have our Pat calls Tuesday, Thursday. Kelly Joe does one on Saturday. We have our corporate call on Sunday. There is something for you to be plugged into every single day. So run with the pack if you want to go to the top. Like it's pretty much that simple. And then here in the comments, you guys, here is the pack zooms that we have. So you can go ahead and save that to your phone. You can set alarms. 
You are welcome to jump on anything and everything, okay? So this is our unit two. And then here is talking about success stories. And in the comments, there are a bunch of success stories here. You are more than welcome to post these stories, especially if you relate to one or you're talking to somebody who could relate to that story. So make sure that you take some time to go through and read these and I'll constantly add some more in there so that way you can continue reading them. But um, I love hearing success stories. This girl's 19 years old and already making a couple thousand dollars a month. So, I mean, it's just incredible. Okay, then we're gonna, um, before we move on to unit three, who's done this unit, who's got a takeaway, who's got something to add? <clears throat> Can I just say something really quick? Yes, please. It's not about, it's not about that, but okay. Ordering product, I can, like, she's stressing that, that it's important, but she's not stressing it enough because ordering product, if you're trying to dupe your market into thinking that you've tried all these products, they're going to know. They want to know your personal results. They don't want to know, they, of course, they want to see other people's success and other people's things, but they want to buy from you and want to buy a product that you also love. So don't try and dupe your market. They're going to know. Buy products, use them for three months, and then tell people how much you love them and why you love them. You. I love it. That's and all. take people along and take people along for the journey. You don't have to use the products for three months before you start selling them. Like take them along to the journey. Like who wants to do this with me? And you post about it every single day that you're using it. And then people are going to want it even sooner. And um, so, yeah, I love that. Anybody else want to say anything before we hop over to this last unit? Um, I just want to say that I really used this unit when I did a um, team party online and I used what you had already made. So like I, a lot of the things that I needed, like these pictures of the people's stories and stuff, like it was really easy to share. So the things that are in here, it's not just to help you post on your Facebook, it's ideas for parties or for like ideas to talk to people. And so use all these things and then make it like your own stuff and apply it to more areas than just posting your messaging too, if that makes sense. Yeah. I want this to be a working document. I want this that helps you in your business. That's not just a one-time training to go through. So um, thank you for adding that in. Anybody else before we move on to the last one? I just wanted to say, you know, for myself, um, I've been like waiting for product to come. So just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. People in California finally just got theirs today. So I'm hoping mine will be here soon. <laughs> Well, and the, and the thing is, is you don't need to like find a sample party that's in your area. So that way yeah. you can try products, but like right now it's interesting because a lot of the products and there's been a few people who have mentioned this today. So I'll just kind of address it. There's a lot of products that are on back order right now because yeah. it's so popular. And so it's taking things longer to send out. And especially our distributor kits, you guys, you just started a business for $20. We were signing and a whole thousands. bunch of people did. <laughs> we are signing thousands of, of new distributors every single month. And so not only are our products on fire, our, our business builder kits are on fire, right? And this is a good problem to have. Like this is like a high class problem to have. This is what we want. Because some of us have been in the business when it's really slow and it's really dead. And I will tell you a hundred times over again, I will take these big level problems of not getting products right away and you know, having to, to give out freebies to keep customers happy because we have such a high demand, then we're then having a low demand for a product and not, and not having this momentum that we have right now. So um, I understand that it's frustrating, believe me, but let's find a solution to the problem. Okay, let's get you some samples. Let's get you to a party where you can try some stuff. Um, let's, you know, let's just find some solutions to the problem so then that way we can move forward because if we're just sitting here waiting, then we're wasting precious time where we could be helping new customers and we could help be signing new distributors. Okay. Um, but I appreciate you saying that. So thank you because I know that a lot of people have been a little bit frustrated with that. Okay. Um, last unit here, you guys, unit three, frequently asked questions. So right here, this is the first post that you'll always see is your pending questions. If you have questions, comment them here and I'll make a slide for it or I'll add it to the training because of course I've been in for so long that I don't remember what you guys don't know or do know when you're first starting out or what you need help with and times change so put your questions here and that way I can add it to the training and get you the information that you need and so a couple of questions that I've had is how do you sign a customer 
you go to your website. When you are signing a customer, you go to your website, not your e-suite, okay? This is your website, name.itworks.com. This is your e-suite, your back office, okay? You go to your website when signing a customer, and you click shop, add the items to cart, and you check out as if you are the customer. You do not log into an account because you're creating a new one. Okay, if you would like to sign a new loyal customer, be sure you explain it correctly. There is nothing worse than signing a customer and then their second month order runs and they go, you didn't tell me I was ordering for three consecutive months. And so you wanna make sure that you explain the program to them. So that way they know they're getting a new product each month for three consecutive months. This is what allows them to get the 40% off discount and waives the $50 membership fee. That's what a loyal customer is. Now, in order for it to be a qualified active customer for you, it needs to have at least 25 bonus volume. It needs to have at least 25 BB. If you don't know what that is, it's in your compensation plan training. Um, and they may not have a duplicate address, so they can't live at the same address as you or any of your other loyal customers. If someone wants to be a loyal customer but doesn't want to do the three-month commitment, they can pay the $50 membership fee, and they can be a loyal customer for life. That's fine. Or if they just want to order at retail, they can pay the more expensive price. They can do a one-time order at retail. In order to put in a customer order, you need name, email, phone number, card, information, and address. And when you're setting up the account, make the password something standard, like it works one, two, three. Don't make it all crazy. Just make them all the same, okay? Um, down here, payday. Y'all, it's payday in three days. Who's excited? Okay, if you had volume and you were commission qualified last night, last month, you get paid. So go ahead and watch this compensation plan video. So that way you understand where your payment's coming from. And then you can read through the five or the six different ways that we get paid and start learning because you will be more successful in this business when you understand how you actually make money. And that's just a fact. There are lots of people who like do all this work and they're like, I'm doing all this work. My paycheck's going to be huge. But like what work did you actually do that we actually get paid on? Right? You need to understand how we actually get paid. So that way you can make sure your work is going to build your paycheck. Does that make sense? Don't do a whole bunch of work that you don't get paid for. Um, okay, um, then down here, lots of people want to know, how do you stay motivated? Like I said, today was a bad day. I chose to stay motivated. I chose to get my work done, right? So if you're not feeling motivated, then go ahead and read the comments. People are dropping their advice. If you've got advice in here, drop it, okay? And then a grit score. This is really fun because um, how much grit do you have? When someone says you no, tells no to you, does it like blow you out for the rest of the day? Like just shut you down when someone says no, that like you're out, you're out for a day, you're out for a few days, you're out for a week, you're out for a month because someone told you no. You guys, that's not okay. That's not gonna build your business. So we gotta build your grit score. And so go ahead and take this test if you haven't, 31 of you already have. So good job there. I love seeing these numbers and your grit score will change. Take it again in a month and see if you've built that grip, grit up. I'm excited to do that. I know I'm gonna post mine like every month. I'm gonna take it again and, and, and watch it grow hopefully. And then um, last one right here is how do you go Ruby? So watch this video, it'll teach you how to go Ruby. And anyone who signed in 2019 that goes Ruby in their first two calendar months gets a $1,000 guarantee. Anyone that goes Emerald gets $3,000 guarantee. And anyone who goes Diamond gets a $10,000 bonus. So this video is gonna teach you. And like I said, this is a working document. If I need to add more, more posts in here, I absolutely will. So this is the pack training. Did that help you guys? Okay, who's got questions, comments, or additions? I just have one more thing to say. I love it. Don't <laughs> dare apologize. Uh, I was just gonna say, so one thing that's helped me while messaging is I send all of my messages before I read a single message. Okay. So if that's like 10 in an hour, I send all 10 before I like look at any of them because that way, like I'm getting out what I want to get out before I'm like reading what they have to say back or what their like negative thoughts or whatever, whatever they have to come at me with. I've already sent my 10 for that hour. And then I can like regroup after that. And then I go back to my next 10, the next hour, or however you send your messages. Sometimes I send 50 in an hour. It just, it just depends. But like send them all out with the amount you're wanting to send out and then go back and read them so that you don't get frustrated and it ruins your whole day of messaging. Like just move along with it. 
I like that. I'm going to add that to the, I'm going to add that to that section. It's a really good tip. And just FYI, the distributor binder is not printing. I don't know if I'm not the, if I'm the only one, but I've downloaded it into my Google Docs, but it won't, it won't download or print. Okay. I will look into it. Thank you. I don't know why I always have a problem with that. If I send it to you on Microsoft Office, can you use your technical skills and make it work? I can do my best. <laughs> or Kelly will help me. You guys are much you should always just create it in Google Docs, not on Microsoft Office. Yes. Don't use Microsoft well, Office. It has a PDF. So it's just you, a can, PDF. you can download a Google Doc into a PDF. Yeah, you can. We can help you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> well, and put it out for carry on. Team carry on. Thank you. Okay. So on what Chelsea said about messages, like for the new people who have no idea what we're talking about, like what messages we should be sending, like when you go through this training and you get the pack document, like there are individual messages for products or host a post and those, that's where you'll send it. So familiarize yourself with the pack document because that's going to be your lifesaver and get you in the right direction. And I'm so glad that you said that. So thank you, Brandy. And this is why I need you guys. So thank you. Um, the pack document, there's a link in there and I missed it, which is why I didn't pull it up. But it looks like this. And um, I know Lynn went through this and literally just like read it. And I just, it's a lot to read. But when you understand how it's set up, it's going to save you so much time. And so um, here it is. And all you need to do is make sure that you can see the document outline and you can do it on your phone or you can do it on your computer, but if you show the document outline, it's gonna give you this little shortcut option here. And so if you want to see like our weekly announcements or um, you know our pack calls, so work with the diamond, the power half hour, um, if you want daily, weekly, monthly task lists, some affirmations to read, if you're having like a hard time getting your mindset right, and then there's loyal customer scripts, and I can just scroll down here and say that you wanna to talk to somebody about the cleanse. So I can just click on cleanse and it will give you posts to make, uh, closing number one, an optional message for you to send, or closing number two, an optional message for you, for you to communicate with people and send. Now, make sure it sounds like you, okay? This, these scripts right here are scripts that me and Kelly Joe have used. You guys do not talk the same way that we talk. So it is an outline for you to make it your own Add in some extra stuff, take out some of the stuff you don't like, but create your own script using this as a backbone, okay? Um, and then you've got a thank you customer and then a way to get a host to post from um, signing your new customer. And so you've got all of the different products here with what it is, what it does, how to close somebody, and then um, we've got some extra stuff in here. So it's a really good document. It's a working document. If there's something in here that you want to see in it, then, or something not in here that you want to see in it, all you have to do is message me. If you've got a good script that's working, tell me, I'll add it to it. Right. And, um, that way it's an easy place where you can copy and paste. Anybody else? Apparel, I wish it were available yesterday. I don't know anything about the apparel. It's a little bit, I, I need to go clothes shopping, but there are no clothes. So it makes it tough. <laughs> I think the more you tune in, and I know Tamika already talked about this, but the more you tune in, the more you're involved, the more you're talking to your upline, Tamika, like the more you're gonna grow. The people that are in contact and getting on calls and um, tuning in and really doing what we're offering, they're the ones that are growing. And that doesn't mean that everybody's a robot and they're just going through the emotions of exactly what we tell them to do. It means that they're taking what they're learning and they're making it their own and they're running with it. And I know I do a power half hour on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I know that there's a couple people that hop on and like I have a timer set. And so we do things like 10 minutes, five minutes. And sometimes during the time that I have five minutes and I say, this is what we're doing, they choose to do something else during that five minutes, but they're still working 
for 30 minutes, like strict business working. And so if you need that, but you don't like like the format or whatever, it's okay. Just hop on and work with us or make sure you're getting on these calls and tuning in. Or if if for some reason you can't get on one, watch the recording or go and watch a YouTube video, like plug in and you're going to grow. But if you're tuned out and even if it's a bad day and you're tired and you don't want to be there, like somebody else might need you that day or what it, we're talking about might be the one thing that you needed to hear and it finally clicks. And so even on those bad days, I know on my worst days when I like just want to sit on the couch and not be on one of these calls, I think this is the day I need it for some reason. And so I'm on no matter what. And so that's what you just have to be committed and have that grit to get on and do it. Yeah, I want to add to that because the plugging in is essential and all of us are going to run at different paces. So don't get discouraged everybody. If you don't run as fast as Kelly Joe or Tamika or uh, Mandy, or, I mean, there's all these leaders that are amazing, but we all didn't start out that, that way. And I am an, I, I'm an anomaly. I am 47 years old and I have triplets. So I'm not running and sometimes I'm jogging and sometimes I'm crawling, but I stay plugged in and I still start, I keep, I keep working. I still get in contact with my team. Um, I make posts and I'm stretching constantly. So be really careful about not comparing yourself because it is a journey and you're going to learn. You're going to be better tomorrow than you were yesterday if you stay plugged in and you still apply the things that Tamika has to offer you because again, a lot of you may have come back into the business a second time and have been on different teams and can realize that what we have here is not like other teams. I'm telling you right now, this is so easy compared to being somewhere else where you have to create it on your own. So, um, but just be patient with yourself. Think of an overall overarching um, view of yourself. This is a journey. And as you expand and grow your mind with the, the personal empowerment and devotion, you as a person are growing and just becoming a better person and you'll slowly rank up. So you just plant your flag, keep staying on the course and you'll make it wherever it is. I love that. Go ahead, Chelsea. You guys. Sometimes your worst days are your best business days. Okay. I'm not joking. Two weeks ago, I lost my job on Monday. Three days later, I went diamond. Sometimes the worst time that you are like really like feeling like you're underwater is the best time to get your butt to work and change it. So some days are hard, really hard, but when you work through it, I'll tell you, I find customers on some of my worst days. Well, and I think that that's really important um, because sometimes when you feel like everything is falling apart, that's when it's all falling together. And if you choose to give in and give up, then you are going to miss out. And so um, I'm so glad that, that you added that because it's so true because she could have just been like dead in the water, lost her job, you know, and she just sat about it for a minute and then got, got back to work and everything fell into place. And you know, and you don't see that in the moment of despair. So anyway, you guys, I really appreciate you guys being on. Um, let's, tr let's really try and change a few words. You guys, let's quit saying discouraged and let's start saying, um, what's a good word for replacing discouraged. And I want to replace the word overwhelmed as well. I want to replace those two words because we need, okay. If you are feeling overwhelmed it's because you're excited about too many things and so we gotta we gotta get our focus in right so there is no more o word it's we're excited and let's get focused on where we're excited about okay what's a better word for discouraged Ooh, i just like courage like maybe we're just feeling encouraged by things that aren't going right and we will find those right things right because you guys if we are if we are living in these feelings that are not positive, that automatically puts out a bad aura around us and more things start to go wrong. And so we have to learn to control our mind and stop that from happening. Okay. So, um, are you going to see opportunities or obstacles? Ooh, I like that. Right. And so we need to make sure that we're always looking on the positive and not sitting in our, in our, 
in our stink, if you will. Can I call it our stink? <laughs> Nobody likes that. A little side note, a CrossFit coach decided he needed to post in our CrossFit page that we should all make sure that we're showering and having deodorant, which means that somebody was stinking. <laughs> posted out. I don't know why I just decided to say that, but I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but let's not sit in our own seat because nobody likes that. Right. It doesn't do good for anybody. <laughs> I was also going to say, um, take a minute. If you're feeling frustrated or overwhelmed, like for me, my thing is, and everybody saw it on Mandy's Facebook, but if you're feeling overwhelmed, blare some music and dance it out for a minute. Just take a second, whatever your thing is, just take a second and breathe and dance it out, shake it out, run it out, whatever you do, because the second you come back to it, you're like, okay, I'm good. Like take a minute and let your mind like take a minute. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to get this recording up. I think it was a really great call. Lots of people need to see this. So if your team missed it, uh, make sure that you send them the recording. I know that it's an hour long but it was really good information. So um, we'll hop off and I'm really excited to see what you guys do. And, and real quick, just show me with your hands, two hands up. If you are going to claim a diamond spot, like who is willing to do what it takes to be consistent every single day, to be plugged into our calls, to make this thing happen because only you can do it. Nobody else is going to do this for you. And you have got to be strong enough to do it. It is so simple. Every single day, those six things, every single day, those six things. If you want more, message more, make better posts, watch some YouTube videos, learn, study, and grow, and see what people are doing to be successful. Reach out for help, stay close to the fire, and we're all going to make it. And I'm so excited. So I will talk to you tomorrow.